in the history of Ghana music, we've witnessed different rap stars from various versatile artists. Many of these artists will go on to win the best rapper of the year awards. But there is one guy, even though he has won the best rapper award multiple times, he actually don't need an award to be proclaimed as Ghana's best rapper of all times, even Africa at large. And that guy is you, Sarkodie. Um, Let's pretend you are Sarkodie. Even if you are not a fan of Ken Sark, you cannot dispute the fact that Obede has become one giant cornerstone of Ghana music. Unlike anyone else in the history of the Ghana music industry. So, how did it all happen? Subscribe to this channel and let me take you on a trip into the humble rise of Sark in today's video. So, you started your education journey at Achimota Preparatory School and that is because you've been adopted by a family friend who stays at mile 7. As a quiet kid who preferred to be alone indoors, listening to radio and writing your thoughts in the form of poems in your little tiny diary. The first time you heard a tree rap music played on the radio, you instantly felt a connection. As an introvert, the only time you can be seen roaming about in the neighborhoods of mile 7 is when you are selling your adoptive mother's yam after school hours or on weekends. However, during Xmas holiday, days you sometimes get to visit your family and spend some time with your siblings at Tema Community 9 due to the severe maltreatment that you suffered in the hands of your adoptive parents you moved to stay permanently with your family in Tema Community 9 therefore you had to continue your education at Matadis Day Senior High School now Staying with your biological family, you realize that two of your father's friends who were very rich have the same name which is Sarkodia. So you concluded that the name Sarkodia brings success, therefore you started calling yourself Sarkodia so that you will grow up to become a successful man. Just like the beginning of many Ghanaian rappers, you started performing at the entertainment night at your senior high school. You will also go a step further to funeral grounds in the evening when the old folks have left. You grab a microphone from the DJ and request the mad beats and spoil the bazaar. The reactions from the young youth were epic and this motivated you to attend more funerals to do more freestyle raps. Fast forward 2006, one of the DJs who have been giving you beats and mic to spoil at funerals revealed an important piece of information to you. This is an information that can change your life and even the history of Ghana music industry forever. The DJ told you about the Kasahari Levels, a rap competition program on Adum 106.3 FM, which at the time was hosted by Dr. Duncan. <clears throat> So, you will start listening to this radio program and even though you were a student at the time, you will still go on to register for the rap competition show. The day finally came for you to make your first appearance on the Kasahari levels. When you arrive at the Adum FM premises at Tema Community 2, Dr. Duncan came to meet you and tried to have some small talks with you. But the only thing on your mind at that moment was a microphone and a beat like this. But Dr. Duncan also wanted to address your dressing. I see the slippers way, but the one with freak baby say you take in the front I watch your back, I say ah. You would go on to hammer any MC that is matched up against you every weekend on the Kasahari competition. It was also around this time that you started noticing this debut girl around the community. Her name was Tracy. It was love at first sight. However, Tracy was already in a relationship, so she bounced you. You finally came face to face with the reigning champion of the show, Chris Wardle. To me, many were done, and I know she. Okay, it was it was two votes apart. Whoa. That was how close it was. The host of the show, Dr. Duncan, 
concluded that you are the next big thing in Ghana music industry. So he has to become your manager. And one evening, your phone started ringing. It was a strange number. The far corner, and then the person said, "Yo, is this Akodi?" I said, "Yes, me." So, oh. so my my name is Hammer. Um, Hammer the last two. Uh, is it possible to me to me a back studio now? They say, "Oh, no, me could Gina do a bit more." I am a chalky. They say, "No, me not sure." One guy called Pugasti. Me could Jay Kakra on the horn and me say, "Yeah." Me from Fat Trusky. I think they maybe do a home a check Kakra. Fast forward, Hammer signed you to a five-year contract. At the same time, he was working on IEP Adam's album, Volta Regime. Therefore, the CEO of the last two allowed you to feature on two of Adam's songs, You Decrease and Give It Up. Fortunately or unfortunately, Dada Batrace's relationship with his boyfriend collapsed, so you quickly moved to her and won her heart. You Decrease came out and became an instant hit. And your verse on the song made you a hot kick. Everybody was talking about your verse. Ghanaians were looking for your own songs to jump to, but you don't have any songs out yet except your freestyle raps with your Tema Boys Boys uploaded onto YouTube. However, Hammer was also dedicated to using all his money and resources to promoting a one project at a time. He wanted to push Adam to a certain level before he would come and start recording your own album and do the same thing for you too. Meanwhile, your mother has also given you a serious condition, blew up within one year or quit music and focus on school. Therefore, this made you so anxious. You were afraid that if the hype around your name dies down now without releasing a song yet, you are doomed. So you approached Hammer and discussed your worries. Hammer understood your points of view and released you from the five year contract. With Dr. Duncan still on your side, you will go on to release a couple of mistakes without releasing even a mastered single yet. Your manager, Dr. Duncan, managed to get shows for you to perform with the mistakes. Your team will even go on to organize your own shows. <laughs> On drop his single here. Oh, mixtapes. <laughs> and I was He was everywhere like but every other weekend. They use the mixtapes, they take the I'm telling money. you, man. And one day, Mr. Kosa Brown, who is a part of your management team, called DJ Mensa and told him this. I'm only DJ Bia rehearsed it two weeks for sure. I mean, I'm not sure they mean it show. I'm not DJ no one yet. I'm show up. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not So at the end of the day, he made a decision there from there that I, I want to work with this guy. Finally, you won the hearts of the Ghanaian masses with your first studio album, Mache, in 2009. The lead single on the album, Baby, became an instant hit and the most played song on radio across every corner of Ghana. Other hit songs on the Mache album were Boga, Push, Lewe, etc. Etc. And just a few months after dropping the album, we will get to perform alongside Basta Rhymes on 12 September 2009 at the Basta Rhymes Live in Ghana concert. The following year, on 10th April 2010, during the VGMA's award, you would win Artist of the Year, Discovery of the Year, Hip Hop, Hip Life Artist of the Year, Best Rapper of the Year, Album of the year prior to all these award winnings mr james Kosa brown had come out on the 6th of january 2010 to reveal to the public that acorn is in discussions with the team to sign you onto the convict music record label already i told you officially i'm signed to convict at that time, some of the artists that were already signed by the Convict Music label included Brick and Liz, Lady Gaga, T-Pain, French Montana, Cardinal Official, Red Cafe, and many more. And so, both your fans and critics alike were eagerly waiting to see you collaborate with some of these international artists and probably a world tour organized by Convict Music or something of a sort. But Ghanaians waited and waited and waited. Unfortunately, nothing like that happened. 
This led to some critics strongly calling you out and accusing you of faking and staging the whole convict signing saga just to trend. Others also made fun of you that the signing fell down flat because you cannot rap in English. But in the face of all this passion, you decided to never come out to defend yourself nor give any explanation. So Ghanaians didn't know that you actually did this. At the time now, Akon, I'm not someone signing any BBR, I don't like him. They were going to do like a tour, American tour for him. Mm. And uh, almost 30 years, BBR documenting without me. Like they were going to take me out. I'm not casting no. I am traveling with Mensa. I don't know, if you're going to travel now, we'll be able to get you out of the country the next month. But if you want to add someone, it will be difficult. So unless we do it for next year, he said, I'll wait. Wow. Yeah. If DJ Mensa doesn't go with me, yeah. I'll wait. He said, I'll wait. In addition to bowing down to Obra Four publicly, you also took Obra Four's lyrics in Kasebo seriously. In the Kasebo song, Obra Four said, "Music is dynamic, so a good musician is one that is able to adapt to new trends." Therefore, when the Azonto trend started in 2011, you jumped on it quickly and pushed Azonto as hard as you can with songs like "You Go Kill Me." dangerous azonto fiesta and more by 2012 you've already become undeniably the biggest music star in ghana therefore samsung mobile signed you as a brand ambassador creative events which is based in norway organized a show dubbed sarkodje live in norway which was sponsored by rea financial services and whilst you and dr duncan were on your way to norway for the show you met one of your biggest fan at the kutuka international airport the fan and his sister exchanged contact with you and what happened next changed your life forever a few months later yasmin bazadi who happens to be a millionaire businesswoman based in dubai offered you a business proposal you quickly accepted and because you sack have the name and she just has the money together you both launched the sack collection by jazz exactly a year later on 27th april 2013 as part of your birthday celebration on the 10th of July 2013, you decided to set up an NGO, SAG Foundation, to support underprivileged children in Ghana. Therefore, you donated money and food product to the Royal Seed Orphanage Home in Kaswa. It was in the same 2013 that you signed endorsement deal with Farmerk and also came into partnership with Tigo. In the years that followed, brands like Mota Guinness, Standard Chartered Bank, Pip Student, Adidas and the likes all signed brand influencing deals with Kensak to help promote their products and services respectively. Talking of influencer deals and promotion, if you're a business owner, whether small or big, and you would like to promote your products and services on this channel, you can reach us on any of our social media handles. Back to the story. Following the end of your contract with Dr. Duncan's label, Dank Wolves Entertainment, you started your own record label, Success Music, in June 2014 with support from your girlfriend, Tracy, and your town. Sammy Forsen, DJ Mensa and the likes. And come 25th December 2014, once again, you decided to celebrate the Xmas with the less privileged kids in Tema. So you embarked on Feed the Kid campaign and provided thousands of kids with food and drinks in addition to school bars, canteen sets and, and other school related items to random kids in Tema. On the 10th June 2015, you released your biggest hyped song ever, New Guy, featuring American hip-hop artist 
Ace Hood, new guy, exposed you to hip hop music fans in the United States and across the world. But regardless of recognition, fame, and money, you still maintain your humble and low profile lifestyle. Even though you came into the limelight via the mainstream media like radio, you adapted social media very early in your career. As a result, in 2016, you became the first Ghanaian musician to hit 1 million followers on Instagram, the most followed. Ghanaian musician on both Facebook and Twitter. So if you're enjoying this story, then please whatever. Please I want to reach one million. Thank you for subscribing. Now let's continue the story. After 10 years of dating Tracy, you finally married her on the 17th July 2018. 2019 came with many new school rappers with versatile rap skills and this led to critics saying that your reign as the king of rap is over. But you proved them wrong with the release of your Alpha EP on 7th June 2019. And four months later, you will win BET's first ever Best International Flow Award. This one is for my little girl, Titi. Daddy loves you. This Christmas is going down in Ghana, so if you're coming to Africa, choose Ghana. You know what time it is, so put a bit more bit. As a result of this passionate speech, the government of Ghana appointed you as a brand ambassador for the Year of Return initiative. Within 14 years of doing music, Sarkodie has dropped almost 10 albums. When it comes to awards, Sack has won over 100 awards as at the time of recording this video. 26 from VGA, 16 from Foresight Music Awards, 14 from 3 Music Awards, 2 from BET, 1 from Dr. UN, and many other institutions. Over the years, critics have been saying that the three language cannot take up with the far. They say, until he do more of English rap, no one outside Ghana will know about the brand Sarkodie. But his visit to Jay-Z's Rock Nation office proved otherwise. I went to um, Rock Nation, Jay-Z's office, and we went to have a conversation. I thought I was going to sell myself, but they told me about myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they were giving me a whole breakdown of my career. They told me about the song I released before I came to the office. And they, they opened um, a, like a screen to show me about myself, right? Even stats that I didn't have. I was going there to sell myself. But then these guys were selling meat to myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's this guy? <laughs> exactly. You know, so. so, ladies and gentlemen in violence, this is the humble rise of Africa's best rapper of all times, Michael Owusuado, aka Kabute, also known as Sarkodie. Watch out for part two, the, the dark, dark side, side of Sarkodie.